It was so cold that, you know, I'm crunched up into my back seat of my car, uh, and I'm just saying I got to do this. Uh, that was four like, days was ago, miserable. right before Lonnie Bear Cub Rogers made it here, the Arbor Lodge Winter Shelter on North Denver Avenue. I want to get clean all the way, but I've been through so many programs that I'm a chronic relapser, so it's like, you know, I get going real well, and then something stops me, a death, or, you know, COVID really took it from me. Organizers can only hope. In. It's pretty cool. Word of this shelter spreads here. to others like Lonnie. So stay super warm in here. Especially as uh, freezing temperatures just, loom. That's the point of this whole shelter is to keep these people safe, warm, and alive. Kevin Schaffner is with Do Good Multnomah. Nonprofit along with the city, county, and metro opened this winter shelter November 19th. It's one of several shelters funded in part by Metro's $2.4 billion supportive housing measure. We want people to know what we're doing, know that we're here, and we want to help. And we want to help people get warm, safe, and housed eventually. For the next five months, Arbor Lodge will provide 24 hour a day temporary housing for up to 70 people at a time, either in the main shelter or one of the outdoor heated pods. They also have case managers working to connect them with services and hopefully permanent housing. The other part of this program is that we now have resources, vouchers to help people get into units and, and placement efforts, case, case managers and permanent supportive housing to help folks stay housed. Patricia Rojas is regional housing director for Metro. With help from the supportive housing measure, she expects to see an increase of 40 to 50 percent in year round shelter space. It's um, beyond heartwarming. It is really inspirational and it gives me a lot of hope because this is the beginning of something. If you want to help, Arbor Lodge is always accepting donations. And right now, as you can see, they don't have very much at all. Their biggest needs are warm clothes, things like jackets, pants, shoes and blankets for both men and women. And you can drop off donations right here in person. I'm going to do what I need to do those steps. As for Lonnie, he's got a job interview lined up and his case manager is already working on housing. In the meantime, he's making every day at Arbor Lodge count. I really want to set an example and I see a couple guys in here that are doing it and it, man giving me hugs and saying, hey Lonnie, you can do it. You know you can. In North Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.